Hello everyone, welcome back. We're out in the orchard today and I thought I'd make a quick video on the question that you often see asked and that's how do you know whether your fruit tree was successfully pollinated um, during the flowering season? So we're out looking at our Colville Blanc apple tree and if we zoom in here you'll see what looks like a small apple. However, one of the tests you can run is to just sort of touch it and I'm just barely even poke it with my finger there and it just falls right off. That's an indication that that was not pollinated. Um, I was going to show it but I ended up dropping it there. Uh, here's another cluster of flowers. Now we had a really late deep freeze on May 17th. I made a video about that and a lot of these flowers that were on this tree really took a beating. So initially they'll look like small apples and you'll think, oh I have apples, but then the slightest little touch they fall right off. This is early June as I'm recording this. This is a good time to go check your trees because you'll see the difference between that and this. Um, those are definitely apples. The, the difference is very stark this time of year because they'll start to swell up and turn into small fruits. Early on it's a little harder to tell. You know, so uh, an easy way to think about it is by early to mid-June your fruits are going to start to look like the actual fruit. You know, a pear, an apple, a peach. We'll take a look at our peach tree in a minute. There's another apple there. And so that's just an, an early indication. You know, from this point on it's a pretty good bet that all of those fruits will develop into apples. Whereas these that look like this, you know, they kind of, they just, they just visually look. Um, like they're not going to do anything, you know, they're wilted looking, they're just sort of soft. Here's one that has a um, insect damage to it, so eventually you can go through and thin, but on a year like this where we had so many frosts and freezes, you know, Mother Nature sort of did the thinning. Here's an example where you have something that looks like an apple, but the stem is yellow, that's another indication. If you see this stem being yellow in any of your um, fruitlets, those aren't going to set. No matter, there's really nothing you can do. It's just they weren't pollinated fully, or the frost, or in our case, the freeze may have damaged them, and you know, damaged the seed inside. And so, as far as the tree's concerned, that's the only reason to make fruit is to make seeds. And so, if the seed's no good, it won't develop the fruit. Um, sometimes you'll get markings on them. You see that ring, it's sort of like a reddish ring there. Um, sometimes that's called a frost ring in apples, but that's a freeze damage to the skin. It's just cosmetic. It'll be kind of russeted and bumpy, but it'll still be a really good apple. Here's another example of one with a yellow stem that didn't set. So hopefully this is uh, helpful with your apples. Let's go take a look at the peach tree, and you can see... Um, as we sort of finish up with that one apple there, you know, that was one that was just never going to take anyway. Well, let's go take a look at the peach tree and you'll see that's even more noticeable. So here we are at the frost peach tree and as you can see these fruits are very noticeably turning into peaches, which is an exciting thing. It almost looks like a peach pit with fuzz on it, um, like the size of a large olive at this point. It sort of look like olives up there against the sky. but. Uh, lots and lots of fruit. For whatever reason, the peach is much less affected by that same freeze as the apple. It was fully um, fully in bloom and, and setting fruit, and it doesn't seem to really have been affected a whole lot. So peaches are pretty tough, at least the frost peaches. That's why we really love this tree. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful, and we hope to see you again soon.